Terence Dix, born in East Ham, London, part of Greater London. The only son of William and Nelly, Ari Ambler Dix, studied English at Downing College, Union Cambridge, and later performed two years in national service in the British Army. Following his charge for the armed services, he worked for five years in an advertising Kobo copywriter and started to write radio plays scripts for the BBC in his spare time. Break through his television came when his friend Michael Malcolm Hugh Hockey asked his help for the scripting of Marquis Penny, an episode of the second series ABC Action Adventure The Avengers, which Dix was awarded to co writers credit. Dix went on to co write the further two Avengers episodes. If Hockey, the second in the crime, was re- later reworked for on the sixth and final series. Doctor Who. In 1968, Dix was hired as assistant script editor for the BBC science fiction TV series Doctor Who. He was appointed head script editor and the following year earned his first writing credit for the programme when he and Hockey co-wrote the ten-part serial The War Games, which had concluded the series' sixth season. The second Doctor, Patrick Fulton Tenger. The serial introduced the concept of time laws initiated the Doctor's eyes exile in to Earth, which would be the major theme of the third Doctor's tenure. Dix had, however, been an uncredited co-writer of the early sequel, serial, The Seeds of Death, 1969, which is simply rewritten by Brian Harrell's original scripts. Dix found, formed a highly productive working relationship with incoming Doctor Who producer Barry Letts, Serving as a script editor on all Let's Five Seasons, a series producer from 1970 to 1974. 1972, Dix embarked on a parallel career as an author, publication, first book, The Making of Doctor Who, a history of production TV series, which co written by Hawkey. After stepping down as a script editor, Dix continued his association with Doctor Who, writing four scripts for his, for, for his successor. Robert Holmes. They, these were Robot, 1975, Tom Baker's first outing, The Fourth Doctor, The Brain Morpheus, 1976, which took it, Dix credited, and Cinnamon, Robin Bearland. After his displeasure, Holmes rewrites prompted him to request it shown under some some bland cinnamon. Horror of Fang, at Fong, Fong, Fang Rock, 1977, A State of Decay, 1980. Take the Cave was the first rewritten version of a story originally titled The Vampire Mutilations, which had been due production during season 15, till BBC decided that Vampire Theme would clash the plot of a new adaption of Brian Stoker's Cat Dracula, due to being transmission at roughly the same time, and placed it with Fang, Horror Fang, Rock. His final Doctor Who script was The Five Doctors, 1983, a feature lit episode program's 25th anniversary. His other work for Doctor Who included two stage plays, Doctor Who, The Daleks and Seven Keys to Doomsday to 1964, and Doctor Who, The Ultimate Adventure, 1989. An audio version drama to Big Finish Productions, Total Comeback to 2002, which is first to feature former Doctor's companion Sarah Jane Smith in significant capacity. He went on to contribute several additional scripts to being finished, including audio adaptions of his two stage plays, The Six Doctor Era Story, for the Companion Chronicle Range, and Bentris Summerfield Story in 2011, which was the final script of his career. Books. Dix contributed heavily to the Target Book series of novelizations of the Doctor Who TV series writing more than 60 of the titles published the company as Dix explains in an interview documentary Built for War including the 2006 two DVD release of the Sardorian experiment he served as an unofficial editor of the Target Books range in his role he attempt to enlist the author of the original script to write the novelization whenever possible but if they refused and, and had other commitments Dick would usually undertake the work himself they also recruited other writers, including former Doctor Who actor and, and Ian Marta and former series producer Philip Hitchcliffe. On one occasion, he enlisted Robert Holmes to novelise his script, 
a time, little warrior. But when Holmes gave up, after writing only one chapter, he left to Dix to complete the work. Dix would have better success, including the original, by the later Doctor Who sequels, and returned to that only one, six Doctor Who, saw himself, Mysterious Planet, again rejected Holmes, who died in 1986. Dick's name appears on the cover of no, of no Seven Doctor's novelizations. He, his plans to publish a novelization of stage play, Doctor Who, The Ultimate Venture, was not realized. During the 1990s, Dick contributed to Virgin Publishing, line of full length, officially uh, licensed original Doctor Who novels, New Ventures, which continued a series storyline following TV cancellation in 1989. Dix wrote three Doctor Who novels for Virgin and continued to write occasionally for the franchise. After BBC Books assumed the license in 1997, he wrote the first of the eighth Doctor series, titled The Eight Doctors, which for a time the best-selling original Doctor Who novel, War Game, featuring the second Doctor, is set during the so-called Season B, 6B, later contributes to the range with a quick read book made of steel and Avenger the Dodo Doom, both featuring the Temp Doctor and Martha Jones.